The Dockers' new CEO has outlined his plan to win back members who quit the club during Ross Lyon's tumultuous final year. Joshua Dorr, it's all about respect. Michael, Simon Garlick hasn't quite had a dig at the Dockers' former leadership, but he has made it clear that he thinks respect can grow inside the club. And the former Western Bulldogs CEO believes engaging the fans will help improve Fremantle's fortunes. He's the final piece of the purple puzzle. We want to bring great people into the areas in which we need them and we'll get to work. Simon Garlick back in the AFL system and promising to improve the view of Fremantle. My underlying feel is that there's a respect, but there's also opportunity for that to grow. Garlick spent five years as CEO of the Western Bulldogs until 2015. His biggest achievement, appointing Premiership coach Luke Beveridge. Obviously left it at a time that was on the precipice of the ultimate success, which was fantastic. And I think just, you know, being a bit older and wiser, understanding that um, there's some things that are hard to learn unless you've been through those circumstances. Currently, the head of marketing and communication agency, Bastion, his football and commercial experience made the decision to appoint him an easy one. That's a really sort of rich background to come to this opportunity with. Garlic will begin his role in mid-November, boosting crowd numbers, his first focus after membership slumped by more than 7% last year. It's an interesting time um, in the sense of going from a stadium that was at capacity to one that there is a bit of capacity for us. I like to think with, you know, a, a relatively fresh team from a leadership perspective within the organisation um, that our members and supporters will be pretty enthusiastic. So that's what Simon says. Garlic will have his work cut out for him. Now, the Dockers lost a young star during Tray Week today, but they're playing hardball on another. I'll have those details later on in sport, Tomo. Interesting time of the year, Josh. Thank you.